big adventure. I, uh, I'm going to try the Cross Vermont Trail. It's about 90 miles. It starts in Woodsville, New Hampshire, and it goes all the way to Oak Ridge Park in Burlington. So I'm all loaded up, got all my gear. I've never done a four-day bike packing trip before. We're going to do some stealth camping along the way, so that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that. So now I just got to go pick up the boys. Anyway. Hey, guess what? what? I'm filming you. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hey, Kiss. We're doing this again, only different. Instead of canoes, we have bicycles. Yeah. <laughs> so we got our bikes all loaded up. There's that one. I can't even lift the thing because it's so heavy. And here's Ben's. This is going to be ridiculous. So we got to the first rail trail leg of our journey. I had to stop put gloves on because it's wicked cold. Here comes Ben. One crossing. <laughs> yeah. Front slight. <laughs> Hoist it, you animal! Hoist it! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're off to a good start. So our first section of the rail bed is a bust. They put a bunch of stay mat down and they didn't, uh, I don't know, they didn't smooth it out. So we can't really ride over it with our bikes all fully loaded. So Jason's checking the map and uh, hopefully we'll be back on some smoother terrain here pretty soon. Does it cross the road up here? It goes under the interstate this this rail bed yes well hopefully they didn't do this the whole way <laughs> yeah, i guess we'll find out that would be a bummer yeah the turkey i don't mean me the turkey the actual turkey we, got on here. Yeah. we have some clear sailing ahead of us so hopefully this is going to be a lot easier now of course, it's going to be easy the whole way, right? It's always easy. So. It's always easy. There's never any massive rainstorms or giant waves or anything like that. Cross from Montreal. Beautiful trail. I like these old rail trails, they're a lot of fun. We were just laughing about how this isn't in the brochure. You can see behind me, we have this gauntlet we have to try to get through. This is, this is just a side of horrible. Don't forget, little kids and grandmas can do it, man. Back out on the main road. I'm glad we're through that part of rail trail. It wasn't that much fun.
Only 35 Try. through this. 35. Where's Ben? The dog's barking. Oh, he's getting attacked? Okay. Good luck, Ben. Ben, did the dog bite you? No. Good. It retreated when it saw me. I heard somebody screaming. No, that was the dog. It was the dog screaming? The dog uh, look, took one look at me and ran back down towards the house. So we're doing pretty good. It's been quite a mix of highway and dirt road and rail trail and class four road. And that's, I think, what we've got ahead of us. Right down there. If you can see, it says 25 mile an hour speed limit. I don't think we have any worry of going 25 miles an hour. No, at least, especially not me. So what are you thinking at mile 12, Jay? Or 10. Okay, we'll stop for lunch or talk, stop and have a good break. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, cool. Sounds good. Riding through Ricker Pond Campground up here in Groton. We used to come here a lot as kids. It was fun. A lot of fond memories here. Lean twos to stay at campgrounds for tent. And what last what four or five years? They started building these little log cabins. Totally enclosed. So yeah, nice spot for the family. Map check. So what do you got? Oh, we're, I think we're somewhere from here. All right, so Lake Groton down there. Yeah. And then the next road crossing is the Boulder Beach Road. And, and then we'll lunch at it to Kettle Pond. Lunch at Kettle Pond. Yep. Okay. Kind of need all the erratics the big boulders left by the glaciers they're all over the place up here you can see those big boulders just sitting there back when our mountains used to be big they've all been ground down and this is where they all ended up For lunch. Yep. So how far did we go? 19 miles. 19? So six more? Yeah. Seven more? Yeah. Like that. I think so. Big Newtons. Nice. I ever tell you about that story, the guy named Fig Newton? Yes, it's funny. It's a funny story. <laughs> that guy was so mad. Gave the guy his ID, and the cashier started laughing. 
Yes, my name is Fig Newton. I'm sick of the jokes. And they, they were selling Fig Newtons on the thing. Oh my God, I almost lost it. Lunch time, Ben. Mean parents. <laughs> your last name is Newton and you name your kid Fig. That is kind of funny. Made it, Ben. We still have a little bit of snow up here. This is Ben's tired face. This is Jason's laughing at Ben's face. <laughs> and there's some snow. A little bit of snow. We might get snow on this trip. Yeah. We are talking about maybe a little bit of uh, snow. Oh man, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I have jerky. What do you have for lunch? Meat and cheese. Uh, meat and cheese. <laughs> I have Fig Newtons. You win. So hey, how was lunch? Good. Your carrots? Uh, carrots and peanut butter. Carrots and peanut butter. I don't think I brought any vegetables with me. Yeah, I know. I forgot to get picked on. <laughs> Meat, cheese, and peanut for me. And a carrot cake granola bar. And we are almost to where we're gonna go camping. We're trying to stay up in this state forest area. So we're not trying to camp in somebody's backyard, at least not tonight. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow night. Yeah. So Jason's checking the map. Yeah. Couple more miles. Yeah. Couple more miles. So we were going to camp, but it was still kind of early, we were feeling good. We decided to just do the whole state in one day, apparently. <laughs> what the hell? I know, I don't know. When do we long. stop to camp, guys? Hey look, Queen it, City? there's the graveyard. Oh, we could yeah. camp, we could camp right there. Ooh, spooky. I'm not going to lie, when I saw the graveyard, I was already thinking you were going to say that. Yeah, I don't want to. So hopefully in a couple more miles. We're actually gonna camp, but I don't know. See you in a bit. A little bit of real mountain biking. Nice. Make it, Ben. Oh, wow. Right right here. Look out, look out. Ah. Sorry. Go, Ben. Too busy Don't fall in the water. I hate bridges.
I thought I was going in the drink right there. Like I even rubbed against the bridge. I leaned a little bit. I was really? getting wobbly. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, dude, I'm so spaghetti right now. I can't hardly walk around. Single track riding on the cross Vermont Trail. Hey, we're here. We made it finally. My God, 38 miles. Thirty-eight miles. I told them we were only doing 25, and they didn't listen. But we're at camp. We have a pretty good spot here. There's a shooting range not far, so you might hear some shots here and there, but we've got some water. Nice brook. Jay's thinking he's going to set up near the brook somewhere. I have a nice spot right here. And up above me, it's nice and clear. I don't have anything really big. Everything's butted out that's up above me, so it's alive, so I don't have to worry about anything. And uh, Ben is lost in the wilderness. So, get back with you after we set everything up. What's the verdict? I'm gonna be there. <laughs> That's you the like verdict. It? Yeah. yeah. I, don't like, I don't like the bright yellow. I thought it was green, but yeah. oh well. it'll blend in in the summer, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad in tent. Well, similar to yours. Yeah, very much. Almost exactly. It's just yeah. a different company. Yeah, so we're tr all three of us are trying brand new tents we've never used before. Good. All single man tents, freestanding, lightweight. So, yeah, we'll find out how good they are in the morning. I'm glad to be here. I don't know about you. I am. <laughs> my, legs are, my legs are done. Poor Ben, he's like jelly. <laughs> can only imagine. He's trying, he told me he's trying to go really slow so he doesn't throw up. <laughs> so, we'll see how tomorrow goes. I do like my chair. I like how we were like, we'll stop at Metal Pond. And then we're like, we'll stop before we get to the park and ride. And then we'll stop before we get to the country club. And then it was basically like, well, then we gotta go to where we're at. Ben, you know whose fault that was? Oh, was it? <laughs> was it me? <laughs> it was him. Okay, I know who to blame. Let's go two more miles, it's just two more miles. Just three more miles. I think Ben feels like he's going through labor right now. Why don't we stop? <laughs> I thought you were joking when you said that on the video. You said he just has to go really slow right now. <laughs> feels like he's going to peak. Oh man. So the question is, we are close enough to town that we could technically order pizza. I thought about it. Pizza and, beer. and I am fine with pitching in. <laughs> Mr. Chase, pizza delivery. <laughs> well, luckily here in Vermont, we have a beer delivery service. Because Vermont is awesome and oh we are gosh. the king of... Nice. Mr. Z's and Mr. J's. <laughs> oh, geez. We could have Mr. Z's pizza. I don't think Mr. Z's delivers. No, but we could have Domino's. I don't care. After what we went through today, that would be glorious. Stop it. 
What? Because if you keep serious, talking, we go up there. Oh, I, see, I know. I know. You just go up there, have them deliver it. <coughs> we'll walk down all, here with a pipe and a hot pizza and some beer. They'll leave it on the edge or something. Yeah. What do you think? It's kind of nice. <laughs> we'll get back with you after we decide. Okay, you're going to do the fireball thing for the first time. I want to see what your reaction is. It's awesome. Okay. It is. <laughs> it's tasty. It's really good. It's I know right it's now. cheap, and normally I drink much higher quality whiskey. Not that I'm a snob or anything, but when you drink better whiskey, you become accustomed to it, and anything else tastes like crap, with the exception of Fireball. So, we survived on it on the Allagash, but unfortunately, I didn't bring enough. So, Next time I will bring enough. I think I brought enough this time. You bring enough? This is, is it? Whole, I don't know. That's all you have? This is half of a fifth. That's all you have? This is half a fifth. He I only brought, brought one flask. I brought two flasks. So I have the same as you. Your, your side. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What's this Ben more doing? Than I'm gonna drink. What? What is Ben doing? He's changing. With He's that changing. guy or? I don't know. <laughs> This fine gentleman started talking politics. So Jason and I decided we didn't want to join in the fun. We decided we'd come back down to camp and drink fireball. So good luck, man. I don't know where he is. Okay, let's have a drink. So. It was a pretty good night. We we did end up ordering pizza from Domino's. It was really cool. The guy got there a little bit early. We weren't quite ready for him, but we, we scampered up into the parking lot and we met the guy and yeah, we had a couple pizzas. So that was that was a real plus. Um, yeah, we're in the tent tonight. We just had a couple of whiskeys. Relaxed, had a good time. It's about 8.30 and uh, we're going to go to bed. So it's supposed to be a pretty cold night. It's supposed to be down in the low 30s. Maybe the high upper 20s, somewhere in there. We're going to try to get up early tomorrow, get breakfast and get going because we have, we're hoping to do about 30 miles. If we can get there, then there's a, a state forest, Camel Sump State Forest we're going to try to stay at, which is legal to camp in. So we're going to try to find a good place over there and maybe do this in three days rather than four days. But not like we're trying to rush it. We, we're certainly having a lot of fun. But the last day is supposed to be a lot of heavy rain. So if we can avoid that, we're going to try. So, good night. And uh, I'll see you in the morning.
We're all packed up. Beginning of day two. Yep. We checked the map and we decided that we're going to try to stay on the bike path through Montpelier. Go off the trail a little bit, but I think that's going to be a good thing because we're going to be away from a lot of the traffic. And uh, what else? I think that's it. We're going to try to make another 30 today. That's right. right. We're going to try to do about 30 miles. Yesterday was 38, just under 38. Today should be about 30, which will put us at 20 for, 20 for the last day. Yep. So, we'll see what happens, see what the day brings. There's no van though. No van? There's no van down by the river. Oh. <laughs> oh, bad jokes. Bad jokes. goes through the river goes over there yeah you guys foraging So we did about 30 miles today. We're not far off a, a trail system, so we have to be kind of quiet. But we're all pretty whooped. We're expecting rain tonight, so I set my tarp up behind me, as you can see. So hopefully tomorrow I can take my tent down. I'll have a dry place to put everything away, my bags and, and all that, and then get out of here with probably wearing rain gear. We don't have far to go. We only have about 16 miles to, to get out of here. 
And we had actually thought about doing it today, but we were so tired that we just, we decided we'd much rather camp and hang out. So, yeah, I'll get with you in a bit. Lots of people on the road. Lots of people out. I was shocked about that. thought was we get up really early tomorrow. Yeah. Like check maybe set an alarm. Check the weather we could possibly be doing oh, nice. early enough. Yeah, I set, I set my alarm for like what? Five. Think five's good. I'll leave here by seven. Seven. We could set it for earlier. Four. Well Tonight is the uh, end of night two. We just finished having some little campfire banter, minus the campfire because we're stealth camping up here just off of a old rail trail in between a couple towns, uh, Richmond and Burlington, which is basically one of the state of Vermont's biggest cities. So we're only about 15 miles away from that. So we're being kind of quiet. Um, it's a neat little woodland that we found. Um, we had a wicked bank to climb to get up here. But uh, people generally don't look up. When they're on a trail, they look down. So we felt like we were pretty safe. It is state forest, so we're, we are allowed to camp here. But we didn't want to raise any eyebrows and, and let anybody know we were here. So we've been pretty quiet. But uh, I went down later on this evening after dinner. I had to refill my water, filter some more water. And I hiked up the trail that is just below us. And I came across this really cool waterfall. It's beautiful. So, uh, of course, typical newbie YouTuber. I didn't bring the camera with me. So I'm sorry, everybody. Next time I will try to do better. But what I will bring with me next time is my family because it, it's a really cool little waterfall and I never knew it was here. So it'll definitely be a trip for the future. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, full bellies. Had a lot of laughs tonight. And uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. I guess we're not supposed to get a lot of rain until about 10. So I'm going to we are going to try to get out of here early tomorrow. We're going to get up around 4 o'clock and bust on out of here and hopefully make it to the car by 8 o'clock or so. Beat the rain. It's not supposed to come in until 10. So we'll see what happens. But thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the morning. Bye. So we're all packed up. Last day. It was a quiet night. I slept pretty good. I guess Jason didn't quite sleep so well. He was hot and it was cold and it was hot and it was cold. You know how it is camping sometimes. But yeah, we're all packed up. It didn't rain on us, so that was nice. I hate putting away a wet tent. Yeah, it's not fun. wet gear. It's just it's not. Like we're gonna miss it. I think we are. We're figuring on a couple hours to get out of here, and that's about it. So wish us luck. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben.
from New Hampshire to Lake Champlain. So the trip is sort of coming to an end. Now we just gotta get to where we spotted our truck and then head home. Thanks for joining us. It's been a fun trip. Thank you.